Hey guys, Alan with the Grilling Network. Welcome. Today we have something special lined up for you. We have a new grill from Traeger. It's their Timberline 1300. We are smoking some beef short ribs from Cape Grimm. Let's get cooking. The Traeger is ignited at its lowest setting at 165 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to be using their super smoke mode, which requires this setting during the first part of this cook. Traeger also recommends leaving the lid open anywhere from four to five minutes. So while that's going on, let's get these ribs prepared. Traeger also recommends using their prime rib rub. Super excited about using this. The preparation of these beef short ribs is quite simple. Just trim off some of the silver skin. I went ahead and did that off camera. Uh, the membrane, I also removed that. You, it's optional, you can definitely leave that on. So, smells phenomenal, guys. Just liberally apply it all over the beef short ribs, making sure you hit all areas. We, so when someone tastes these ribs, that they hit uh, or get a bite full of both the rib and the rub that we're applying. Our ribs have multiplied and have been sweating for about 10 minutes now, letting the rub work its magic. At the same time, our grill has come up to temp. I took the liberty to bump it up to 225 degrees Fahrenheit, still utilizing their super spoke mode. One of the cool features that I like about the Traeger grill is the probe and how it's connected to the grill. You can set alarms and alerts so that when the meat reaches an internal temperature of a certain degree, we're shooting for 160. Typically that takes around three to four hours. It will alarm and then bump the temperature up to 275. So let's go ahead and do that now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these racks of ribs, we're gonna apply the probe into it and let it be the one that will set the alert. Plenty of room on this grill. Super stoked that they increased the size of it. We'll use this guy as the guinea pig. Again, just take the probe, place it in the thickest part of the meat. And set it aside. As I mentioned, the first part of the super smoke mode, we're going for anywhere from three to four hours or when the internal temperature reaches that 160. The next step is to bump it up to 275. We'll show you that next. It's been an hour in time for our first application of beef broth. Let's go ahead and spritz some now. Wow, those beef ribs are looking phenomenal. The meat is pulling off the bones and that's what we're typically looking for. Let's spritz them up. We're going to uh, repeat this process every hour until our probe alarm goes off and that's around 160 degrees Fahrenheit. One of the cool features that I like about the Timberline product line is the ability to create custom cooks and set alarms on your temperature probes. As you see on the iPad, the temperature probe is set to alarm at 155 degrees Fahrenheit. We are wanting that to be 160. Let me change that now. And that's how easy it is to do. Once the internal temperature of our beef ribs reach 160 degrees Fahrenheit, our phone will alarm, letting us know it's time to go to the next step. It will then increase the temperature of the grill to 275 degrees Fahrenheit. At that point, we'll wrap our ribs. It's been roughly four hours and our target probe went off. Let me know that it's time for the next step. Let's change the temperature from 225 to 275. All right, and let's go ahead and pull the beef ribs off the grill. Look at that. These are looking phenomenal. The meat is pulled off the bone, which, which is what we're expecting. Gorgeous. Smells phenomenal. 
the hickory pellets that we're using are, you know, adding flavor to this. The next step is to foil it. We'll use some of the reserve au jus that we had to pour some of it over the meat, close it up, and then toss it back on the grill. The next step is letting it go until the internal temperature reaches around 200 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll show you that next step. It's been nearly three and a half hours. Our pit alarm has gone off, letting us know that the ribs are done. Let's pull them off and check it. Quite hot, make sure you double up your layers. Wow, that smells and looks phenomenal. Again, using our trusty thermal pin, if it goes in like butter, look at that, no resistance whatsoever. These are done. I'm going to pull the rest of them off and then we'll hit them up with some signature Traeger barbecue sauce. We'll do that next. The next step is pretty simple. We're going to apply some of Traeger's signature barbecue sauce to these ribs, toss them back on the grill for another 15 minutes so that the sauce has time to set. Just using a basting brush. Like I said, we'll toss these on the grill for another 15 minutes and then we'll give it a taste test. All right, the sauce is set up nicely. Let's go ahead and give this a try. These are massive ribs. Look at that guys, you can definitely see the smoke ring right there. Very, very juicy. We'll go ahead and give this a taste. Wow, look at that, falls apart. Oh my gosh, these were absolutely phenomenal. Traeger wasn't kidding when they said that the prime rib rub would take it to another level, top notch. These are the best ribs that I've had in a long time. I wanna make sure you guys give it a try. Check out Cape Grim, Traeger, and thank you for stopping by. We'll see you guys on the next one.